ABC 10 News at 7 starts now. Heavy hearts tonight in the San Diego Police Department after two of their own were killed by a wrong way driver on the 5 freeway. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. Steve has the night off. It happened just before 1030 this morning on Interstate 5 near Dairy Mart Road in San Isidro. We have team coverage of the crash and the police procession that followed. Let's start with ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo at police headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Laura. Kimberly, we are still waiting to find out the identities of these two officers killed in this morning's crash, but we do know they were a husband and wife that rose through the department at the same time. As of right now, it is unclear if they were on or off duty when this crash happened this morning. According to CHP, the crash was reported just before 1030 when a female driver in a Honda Civic was driving north on the southbound lanes of the five near Dairy Mart Road. Her car crashed head on with the officer's car. The collision engulfing the car in flames. One man tells ABC 10 News he saw the entire thing and came dangerously close to the wrong way driver. It was going about 100 miles an hour and I was going in the same direction, the opposite direction at around 80, 75 or 80. And by the time I realized that it was coming towards me, is when I dodged to get out of the way. Now the five freeway is back open this evening. At this time, the identity of the wrong way driver has not been released and CHP says it is unclear at the moment if alcohol or drugs were a factor in this crash. And just within the last couple of minutes, we have learned that Chief David Nislight will have a press conference regarding the crash this morning at 9 p.m. tonight. We will be here to cover that and have all of the latest details tonight at 11 o'clock. Reporting live from police headquarters, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. And the mayor of San Diego joining the police chief as well. Thank you. We will check back in with you. We know you will be there tonight at 9 as well. Thank you, Laura. It was a touching scene as a procession of San Diego police officers escorted the bodies to the coroner's office. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner is at the crash site where we continue to learn about those officers who lost their lives. According to sources, the officers were married and they went through the academy together. In fact, we're told that they were both hired on the same day in 2012 and they were both promoted to be detectives on the same day in 2018. This is a heavy and emotional night for the San Diego Police Department. Earlier this afternoon, we witnessed the bodies of the two officers draped in American flags being placed into the coroner's vehicle. Then a police motorcade led the vehicle from the crash site on the 5 South to the 5 North, escorting that vehicle away from the South Bay. Our cameras then captured the motorcade on the 15 freeway bound for the medical examiner's office. A spokesperson for the San Diego Police Department wasn't ready to say whether they were on or off duty or where they were driving to at the time of this horrible collision. When we lose an officer, and unfortunately today we lost two, it, it's a big blow to the whole, to the entire law enforcement community, you know, and needlessly, especially when you have an accident like today. A spokesperson added that even though it's a large department, a lot of the officers move around to different substations, so a lot of them know each other pretty well. Reporting from San Ysidro, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Jennifer. This afternoon, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria issued a statement saying in part, in the coming days, we will learn more about these public servants who proudly donned the badge to keep all of us safe, and we will honor them for their service. I ask San Diegans to keep the officers and their families in your prayers. Despite fewer people being on the roads last year because of the pandemic, traffic-related deaths spiked. The number of fatal crashes across the U.S. rose 7% in 2020, the biggest increase in 13 years. And the jump came even though the number of miles traveled per vehicle fell 13% from 2019. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says drivers are taking more risks by speeding on less crowded roads. And they're also not wearing seatbelts as much and driving while impaired. In total, nearly 39,000 people died last year, the most of any year since 2007. You can stay on top of any new developments with this story by downloading the 10 News app 
A free version is available in the App Store. Turning to coronavirus, as California prepares to reopen June 15th, workers will have to keep their masks on unless every employee in the room is fully vaccinated. ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pizzetti explains how these revised rules have a big impact on public service industries. After a back and forth conversation, Cal OSHA's most recent vote says employees can only take their masks off at work if every single person in the room is vaccinated. And even if one is not, all employees have to keep their masks on. We have seen this in the past where Cal OSHA has been more stringent, has had higher thresholds of what it deems safe and healthy environments. And in fact, we do have empirical work and empirical evidence that it has done a better job in protecting employees. University of San Diego law professor Orly LaBelle says she's not surprised that the agency, which is ultimately the final say on workplace rules, is being more strict than CDC guidance and state plans. As long as there are people who are not being vaccinated, who are choosing not to vaccinate, we need to still be at some you know, high level of um, safety or, or caution. This means for public service industries where people come and go and vaccine status cannot be verified, all employees will have to keep their masks on. There is growing frustration in the restaurant community. Katie Hansen with the California Restaurant Association says this simply doesn't make sense. Someone can work a lunch shift, have to wear a mask the entire time, go home, change out of their work clothes, relax in the afternoon, go back out to dinner at that very same restaurant with their family or friends unmasked. And I, I think it's just, it's ex incredibly frustrating. Plus, she worries about violating personal information rights of employees by requiring that info, saying the Restaurant Association hopes Cal OSHA will amend this vote and loosen the rules. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. Well, this ruling is not the final word. Cal OSHA plans to continue conversations into the summer about regulations for California workers, and there are expected to be updates. Our daily cases are back above 100. The county reported 126 new cases today, while our test positivity rate remained below 1%. The local death toll went up by two more people. Today, 15 people in California each won $50,000 as part of the state's Vax for the Win program. Three of those winners were from San Diego County. As ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains, the hope is that the program will motivate more people to get vaccinated for COVID-19. Each one of these balls represents $50,000 uh, check that individuals receive when they get their second shot. There's always stipulation. We want people to follow through. 15 Californians out of 21 million will be awarded a total of $750,000, part of the state's new Vax for the Win program. And among the lucky winners picked Friday are three San Diegans. San Diego. San Diego. All right. Once fully vaccinated, they'll get the money. The winners' names are kept confidential unless they want them out publicly. And over the next four days, they'll be notified that they've won $50,000 each. The California Department of Public Health will reach out by phone calls, texts, emails, or through any other contact information associated with their vaccination record in the state's registry. If someone under the age of 18 wins, the cash is then put into a savings account for them until they turn 18. Dr. Williams Sang, who's part of the California Medical Association Board of Trustees and the vaccine lead at Kaiser Permanente here in San Diego, says with fewer people getting vaccinated, the main goal right now is to answer questions from those still hesitant, but the incentives don't hurt. I, I love the idea. Just anything to get people vaccinated. And again, all your physicians are there ready to answer any questions or misconceptions. We are here for you. The next drawing is scheduled for June 11th. Then on June 15th, when California fully reopens, 10 winners will win $1.5 million each. And again, if you are vaccinated, you're automatically entered to win. Reporting in San Marcos, Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. And we do have a poll out asking unvaccinated Californians whether the cash incentives will entice them to get the vaccine. 
We'll have those results for you tonight on ABC 10 News at 11 o'clock. In Encinitas, one person is dead after being hit by the coaster. It happened just before 3 on North Coast Highway 101 and Locadia Boulevard. The Sheriff's Department says the victim was walking across the tracks when they were hit. Right now, investigators say it looks like an accident. Coaster service in the area was halted with buses being used to take passengers around the closure. A frightening incident this afternoon on a flight from Los Angeles to Nashville. The Delta flight was diverted to Albuquerque after a passenger tried to break into the cockpit. The person was unsuccessful. The plane landed safely and the passenger was removed by police and the FBI. No one was hurt and the flight took back off for Nashville. The FBI is handling the investigation.